Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Eurowings, it's our pleasure to welcome you on this service to New York. My name is Kyle McCorney, and I'm the responsible person on this Airbus A300. So good morning from Soho, New York City. So I'm right at the Washington Square Park. I went back from Manhattan to Brooklyn. Like pretty much in front of the uh, pop-up right now. From the Grand Central Station, New York City. I'm in the Apple Store, Fifth Avenue, Times Square. Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing today? I really appreciate you coming back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Lothar. I'm from Düsseldorf, Germany. Yes, and uh, it was October when I visited New York City. Great time. Uh, only by myself because it was one of my biggest dreams to go once alone to New York City just to do photography or filming and it was a great time at New York City and it's a shame what happened right now in New York City and yeah we will get through this hopefully soon the hocus pocus is over so uh, but I make great pictures from Manhattan and people of you are maybe saying hey uh, you're a professional photographer why do you need preset uh, i will be honest to you i'm lazy <laughs> of course i could do these things uh, in adobe lightroom by myself but here's the biggest advantage for my workflow and my workflow is much more faster because i'm using presets from different uh, photographers and the one I want to present you today is Alan Palander. He's a great Instagrammer. He's a great photographer. He's having also a YouTube channel right down below. I make a link. So let's jump into the Adobe Lightroom preset from Alan Palander this time. I just bought this about two, three days back. And I'm pretty, pretty uh, amazed about the workflow now with this preset, New York preset from Alan Palander. So let us jump right into Adobe Lightroom Classic. Here you can see I have made a picture from the World New World Trade Center. By the way, I highly recommend that you make your photos in RAW. Of course, you can use also JPEG files for this preset, but I recommend the RAW files. Some other ones, the older version from Alan Palander is also quite good. Fog, Earth, Reflect and Fropack, Fropack 2 from Jared Paul in Fronosphoto.com and Peter McKinnon. I have also different Peter McKinnon presets, but as I said, we want to go now today to the Alan Palander New York preset. And I just want to show you how easy is the workflow when you go on the left side, Atlantic, Bronx, Brooklyn, Central Park, Chinatown. Dumbo and this is overexposed and there you can see that obviously you can't use uh, every preset for every every preset for every picture so you have to see which one goes in the right direction or it perfects or, or it starts really perfect from the beginning maybe sometimes but here I want to show you I I like I like the colors of New York preset Atlantic City. So let us use this. And then you may think this is totally overexposure. Why the hell he's using this one? Because and I I have an idea and I will just show you. Because I go with the lights 
uh, with the exposure down and now you can see yeah I think this direction I mean if I go in too dark no makes no sense uh, I feel yeah like this where I have some shadows here in the skyscrapers beautiful picture make my picture much more awesome because if you see the beginning and the preset with the correction uh, I think it's awesome. Geht's los. Also, Papa, hörst du mich? Ja, ich höre dich sehr gut. I can hear you loud and clear. Good. Thank you. So, let us start with the next picture from New York City. This is from the Rockefeller Center, Top of the Rocks. By the way, uh, there's a link here below where as a movie about my trip to Top of the Rocks. Very, very awesome. I would appreciate if you watch this after this movie. So back to this picture. Um, yeah, it was a very good timing, a beautiful day. And when you go to the Ellen Palanda, yeah, Atlantic City, look at this, full gold. Bronx is a little bit more dark. Brooklyn, and as you can see, it makes a lot of fun also. You just select the presets and you can see immediately another result. Um, Central Park, mm -hmm. interesting. Chinatown, Dumbo. Ha! So let us select Dumbo, okay? Mm. I think we have to make the correction here for my camera all the pictures are filmed with the Canon EOS R mostly on the RF 15 to 35 millimeter lens the new one so we go down also here with the exposure wow hey look at this I mean this is just making five seconds and uh, yeah maybe that can be cool isn't it Look at this. In five seconds, an awesome picture. If you go back from the beginning, it was this, which was quite a good picture, but this one, this is awesome. You agree? So let us start the next picture, which I make in a landscape format. This is the Oculus, the Oculus in uh, New York City, close to the World Trade Center. I appreciate to make this picture in a portrait mode. So this is just for showing in the landscape format to show you the Alan Palander presets. Atlantic City, Bronx, Brooklyn, Central Park, Chinatown, Dumbo. Yeah, so as you've seen before. Wow, interesting Empire State, Flushing Meadow. Jersey, JFK, JFK is nice, but I just want to go all to the preset that you have an idea and hope you also enjoy and makes fun to watch as I have. Riverdale, that could be nice. See, this is an example that it's almost perfect. I mean, Riverdale fits perfect to this color of the picture snack harbor soho maybe soho is nice so this is a picture that many presets are looking very nice um i think i prefer jfk and go with the exposure a little bit down like this <coughs> so last but not least uh i made or i showed you almost architecture pictures and sometimes also I make street photography so that was also uh, near the ferry from the World Trade Center and let's check what Ellen Palander's presets can do here maybe Atlantic City maybe Bronx Brooklyn Central Park Dumbo Empire State. Wow, that looks also cool. I decide um, 
for this picture. Staten Island. This. Because that's cool. That's really cool. And again, you can see how fast we can make our pictures more awesome. And I really appreciate this is a lot of work to do presets. Alan Palander, thank you very much. And um, I can really recommend to buy this. This is affordable, it's not too expensive because as you can see, there are a lot of presets and you will find the right preset or you will change some temperatures, um, lighting, contrast, whatever you want to make it perfect for your picture. So I hope you liked the video. Highly appreciate when you subscribe, smash the like button and stay healthy. See you tomorrow. Peace.